Hi everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So refrigeration is obviously a very important part of the HVAC system, so I want to cover some refrigeration basics before we get back into components. So today I'd like to talk about the refrigeration cycle. Let's get started. The refrigeration cycle uses the fact that when a gas is compressed, it heats up, and when it expands, it cools down. Several components are needed for the refrigeration process to work. We'll start with the evaporator. The evaporator is a heat exchange device, meaning it transfers heat from one medium to another. A water coil is a good example of a heat exchange device. So let's draw in our evaporator. In the refrigeration cycle, liquid refrigerant travels through the evaporator. So I'm going to use these green lines throughout to represent refrigerant piping. The fins of the evaporator absorb heat from the passing airstream. So these red arrows represent warm air passing through the evaporator, and the blue arrows represent cooler air leaving the evaporator. The transfer of heat from the air to the refrigerant lowers the temperature of the air so it can be delivered to the occupied space for cooling. It also causes the refrigerant to evaporate. So say you have 40 degree liquid refrigerant going into the evaporator. After the air passes through and the heat transfer happens, it comes out at say 50 degree vapor. So this is your evaporator. Let's move this over and draw the next component. When the refrigerant vapor leaves the evaporator, it goes to the compressor. The compressor compresses the refrigerant vapor. This raises the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant vapor. So this is our compressor. We'll use the green lines again to show the refrigerant in and out. So in this case, we have 50 degree vapor coming in, and what we have leaving would be about 195 degree high pressure vapor. So let's label this, and then we'll move it over and look at the condenser. The condenser is also a heat exchanger. Let's draw our condenser and then our green refrigerant lines. Coming into the condenser, we have the 195 degree high pressure refrigerant vapor. Air passes through the fins of the condenser and cools the 190 degree vapor down, which causes it to condense back into a liquid. And the air that passes through the condenser warms up. The refrigerant leaves the condenser at about 110 degrees high pressure liquid. So that's the condenser. The liquid refrigerant that leaves the condenser is still under high pressure, so its pressure must be reduced before it enters the evaporator again. To reduce the pressure, the refrigerant passes through an expansion device. So let's move this over and look at the expansion device. So let's draw a little expansion device. And let's draw our refrigeration lines in and out. The expansion device reduces the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant back to where it needs to be to enter the evaporator again. So it's coming in at say 110 degree high pressure liquid, goes through the device, and it comes out at 40 degree lower pressure liquid. So let's zoom out and look at our whole system. And let's move our expansion device up a little bit to make some room. You have the evaporator, compressor, condenser, and expansion device. Now let's connect our refrigeration lines. You put all this together, and this is the refrigeration cycle. If you look at the HVAC system in your house, you probably have an indoor unit and an outdoor unit. The indoor unit has the evaporator and expansion device and a fan to blow the air through the evaporator and into the ductwork of your house. The outdoor unit has a condenser and a compressor, plus a fan to pull the air through the condenser and reject the warm air to the outside. So if I draw a line here, this kind of shows you what's on the outside of your house and on the inside of your house. So now the air that's blowing through your evaporator is actually ducted into your house to provide cooling, and the air that's going through the condenser is what's coming off the outdoor unit, and the hot air is being rejected into the outdoor air. Commercial HVAC systems work on this same principle. So that's the refrigeration cycle. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.